Uh, we were mentioning earlier, talking about uh, mindset and how you should maybe think about approaching the, the act of public speaking. Uh, I want to suggest it's not merely a collection of tips and tricks and holding your hand in one way versus another, uh, but I think one of the biggest fears people have when it comes to uh, public speaking is they're going to say something wrong. And In fact, many of those fears may be exacerbated if they approach it with a performance rather than a communication orientation. Those terms uh, really developed in uh, Michael Motley in a, in a book on fear of public speaking. And he distinguishes between uh, walking into a speech assuming it's a performance more akin to like a stage play with a script uh, as opposed to an act of communication, like in a dialogue, like we're doing right now. So uh, if you walk into it and assume that it is a performance, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Certainly in the reading of that script, it can be monotone. It can be too fast, it can be dry, it's certainly not engaging with the audience because your attention is on the page rather than the audience. But a good speech is about the engagement of that speaker with that audience in that given moment. And in that sense, a communication orientation actually works to your advantage in many cases. Certainly not all cases. State of the Union address is not going to be winging it. But uh, in many cases, what you want to do is be able to communicate with your particular audience in a clear and compelling fashion. Uh, in that case, you need to prepare your speech, you need to know your content deeply, but at the moment of speaking, you need to not have any barriers between you and that audience. You need to be able to engage them, to be able to work with them, to be able to adapt to them if they say something, if they aren't understanding something. And a communication orientation means you're focusing on the act of communicating your message with this audience. It's not reading a script, it's not doing a play. If it was so important that the written word be distributed, you could have sent a memo. This is an act of communication, and it needed to, needs to be treated as such. So if people ask me right before they go on, what should they do to sort of help with their nerves and help with their speech, I would say, just talk to us. Know what you want to get across, but just talk to us. Don't read to us, because in many ways, that's going to hurt you and make you more nervous.